Hey guys, it's Bathurst time and we're off to the 12 hour, so uh, come and join me on the ride. So I've got Archie here, all packed up. So it's pretty crammed in, I've got my gas bottle under here, uh, some supplies. You can, you can see here, I'm, I'm pretty well packed in, but uh, I've got everything I need for uh, camping for a few days in uh, reasonable comfort, so uh, let's get on the road. Basically my plan of attack is, uh, I live in the New South Wales Southern Highlands, so we're travelling south down towards Goulburn first, and then I have to sort of turn around and, uh, and sort of head back up northwest. Basically because uh, you can't go directly west from where I live, then you can, but there's uh, sort of dirt roads that uh, I'm not as inclined to sort of thrash this on a couple hundred k's of dirt roads. So uh, I think, think we'll go by the... Uh, more major roads. We uh, this is on the highway at the moment, but we'll get off the highway and go through some nice country roads, and it'll be a uh, a good trip. But um, our first port of call is Goulburn, where I'm going to meet up with another couple of guys. I haven't actually met them before, but they're another couple of um, Porsche trojans like myself. So uh, we'll stop there, have a coffee, meet these guys, and uh, then get back on the road up to Bathurst. Um, it's about an hour from my place down to uh, to Goulburn, where we're going, and then um, it's another two. And a two and a bit hours to uh, to the track, so uh, let's get up there. I also want to just add the uh, the new tyres have made such a difference on the freeway. The the noise is less, the vibration is less. They're they're quieter and smoother. I am a big fan. It's definitely changed the car for the better. Tyres make such a difference. All right, so uh, now we're just waiting for the other guys to rock up, so uh, see how we go. And here is our other traveler, Alex, in his green SE. <laughs> nice to meet you, mate. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> Okay, and we filled up, ready to hit the road. So let's get on to the Bathurst. It's been a very hot, sweaty afternoon, but I have come now, set up the tent, and um, let's have a bit of a walk around and have a look. A few more of the guys have rocked up now, so um, let's have a look at some of the uh, the cars and <laughs> the guys that are here. So first of all, there is uh, my car with uh, Nick's very pretty turbo next to it. Here's Nick hard at work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nick. <laughs> and this Hello? is Twizzy, one of the uh, the organisers of this crazy event. Who's on the other side? Everybody. Twisty. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Everyone's still setting up. Very nice 993. A very, very sad looking Alpha. This thing is uh, wow. a little worse for wear. Yep, there it is. 993 Turbo. Very, very neat 993. Boxster. And uh, Twizzy's tent that we might have uh, some fun with later. <laughs> It's Simon with his uh, 997. How you doing, Simon? Hey, how you going? 
Yeah, excellent. Set up, ready to roll? Nearly. And this is our communal tent, so we're still setting up, but um, this is where we'll be uh, eating and uh, talking lots of uh, crap. Working our way around, we, got some, we, we do have some, some air cooled guys here. Yeah. We have Jed here with his uh, SC, is it? 930 turbo. 930? I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll clean my mouth out. It's an, it is a 9.30, so yes. And very nice as it, <laughs> it is. Today has been quite hot. Um, a lot of these guys have travelled up from Victoria, travelled all day or uh, something South Australia. So it's, uh, it's, it's a long day. Uh, John, John's driving the, uh, his uh, little Boxster. He's probably the, the, the most basic one of your fleet. Absolutely. <laughs> that you're driving up today. Fun. Great little yes. car. Great little uh, little white box there over there. Very neat and uh, well, I don't think has good working aircon, which was a good choice. And we have Stu. Hey! Stu's come up from Adelaide. Adelaide. Uh, he's oh, cheated and oh, taken the car with working oh, aircon instead of his yes. uh, old SE, which is... Uh, RS, yes, so he's got his Megane RS. So we're all set up here and uh, getting ready to uh, settle in for the night. All right, and this is uh, morning of day two, or the first day, I suppose. And um, festivities went pretty late last night, as you can see here, but it's a, it's a beautiful morning. Unfortunately, it's going to be about 39 degrees today, so it's going to be bloody hot. But the uh, first priority, coffee. All right, so um, up here for the start of Group S. First, uh, first look at the cars for the weekend. Let's have a look at some of these uh, beautiful classics. And these are my kind of cars. here at the track and uh, this is our uh, setup here we got the shade structures and uh, we're hanging out here but some of the guys are doing it much better than we are so let's go and have a look look at what these guys have got south they got a super neighbors they got super neighbors in the freezer TV showing that the full thing. All the beers. Go to me, mate. And this whole contraption is set up on, on a rig that's towed in with a barbecue, the fan. You probably can't hear me because of the fan. Towed in by this. It's a fantastic bit of gear. They've even got a satellite dish for the, uh, the TV. The whole setup is fantastic. They really have it set up. These guys have got a bar. It's uh, it's well sorted. All right, it's uh, day three, day two, day three, Saturday, and uh, it's uh, that was a that was a rougher night. <laughs> I'm not feeling as uh, as uh, bright and chirpy this morning, but. Uh, it's a beautiful day and we're going to head down the bottom and have a look at the pits and have a look at some of the uh, the stuff that's on display because it's some pretty cool stuff. Alright, so we've ventured down the hill uh, to the pit area and just uh, having a look around at some of the things that are on display while the car's going around. We might see what we can see in the pits and stuff like that. So uh, let's have a look around this room and then some of the bits and pieces. Now that, that's something pretty cool. Benny making a showing. Have a look at uh, some of Ron Gugan's toys.
right, so we've come out for uh, the uh, dinner on the Saturday night now. Um, it's been a really hot day, so uh, getting some actual cold beverages would be a good thing. And uh, yeah, so we've got a bunch of the guys out here, so we should have some fun. It is an early morning here on race day, so um, it's uh, about quarter past five and it's it's quite dark, you probably can't see a lot yet, but uh, well, we're up and it's always worth getting up for the start of the big race, it's, uh, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm getting I'm a bit rough after a, after a few days out here with uh, not a lot of sleep and but uh, this is what we're here for. This should be a fun day and uh, it's always good seeing the cars in the dark. So uh, let's head down to the track and uh, see if we can catch the start. the formation lap we're getting ready for the start so Okay, so uh, we watched the start of the race and uh, I had to come back, I've had some coffee, I've had some breakfast, just uh, getting ready now to head back down to the track and uh, see uh, a bit more of the race and a bit more of the festivities and settle in for the day. Okay, so to try and combat the heat, I went down to Bunnings and I bought myself some flexible misting tube. This stuff is supposed to be set up so that you pump water through it and it just it sprays a nice fine mist over you I thought that would be great so I uh, I sort of cobbled together some bits and pieces to connect it up and I bought a pond pump which is the stick in a bucket of water the trouble is is um, of course I put it all together and the pump it just is not strong enough to get the uh, uh, get the misting tube like spraying it just needs it needs far more uh, volume than what that can create far more pressure so Back to the old drawing board. All right, it's beaten me, it's worn me down. I'm calling it before the end of the day. Basically, it's just been so hot here. I'm three hours away from home. I think I'm gonna go home and watch the end of the race from home. So uh, it has been a fun trip. It's been a bit too hot and uh, I think it's time to uh, to cut my losses. The car has been great. So uh, I'm gonna enjoy my nice cruisy trip home and, uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See you guys.